let's talk a little bit about monetization strategies. It's like the third component of the framework. So they discover your music, the fan discovers your music, you nurture them, Mm -hmm. bring them into your world. And then what does it look like to finally get a little bit of money for making music? (laughs) Well, the first thing that everyone needs to know is that your best fans are probably already begging to spend money with you and you just need to create an avenue for that and if you don't have any products then you're not creating the path for those people to walk down in order to swipe their credit card spend money with you and so i think that you know it's not to overcomplicate things you need to have your introductory product the first product that you want people to buy it's probably going to be the cheapest product. And what I love to recommend is either have a Patreon or have a low priced merch item, right? Mm-hmm. Under 20 bucks, or it could be 20 bucks, right? Because a fan that it wants to support you will look for the avenue to support you. And you know, half the time I would say that maybe they're very interested in the design of your merch and you know, they want that <laughs> specific hat, that hat or shirt, whatever it is. But the other half of the time, they don't even care what it is. They're like, I don't even care what I'm going to get in the mail. I just want to support you. Right. I think that's a a reality check that we need to just come to terms with is like, sometimes it doesn't even matter what that first product is. If you are doing everything right in the nurture phase, you just need to have an introductory product to complete the journey for some of your fans, for your best fans. Right. They're not buying the t-shirt, they're buying you. Exactly. Right. And so- one of the biggest pushbacks against a Patreon is the thought like, well, I don't understand Patreon. Like, what am I going to do for them? Like, right. what's the value exchange going to be? And that's a very fair question. But I would say discover what the value exchange is going to look like for you. Because once again, you can't expect yourself to know the beginning from the end at once, right? Before you even experiment. And so creating a Patreon and even creating like a low price tier, like five bucks a month and just saying, support my music, <laughs> no strings attached, five bucks right. a month, whatever it is, at least you're creating the avenue for your best fans, right? You know, your mom, that uncle that always comes to your show, and then the yeah. guy that binged your YouTube channel, and then the three people on your mailing list. If you get those people on your Patreon first and not missing out on that opportunity, you're, you're starting to move and then you can start experimenting and you can start uh, building out your Patreon as you go, but don't think you have to have a full fledged Patreon strategy on day one. Right. Just have too much to ask. Yeah. That dude, I have seen that play out in real life. I have like a personal newsletter. I put it on a sub stack where you can make it like, there's like a $5 option that people can pay. As soon as I did that, my mom started paying me five bucks a month. Yes. (laughs) It's your allowance, man. Continuing. (laughs) <laughs> Thanks, mom. What are some of the next steps, like the higher ticket, or yeah, where do you where do you go next? Oh man, the sky's the limit here. You can be as creative as you want, and it really depends on your comfort level and what you're willing to do. But I think the the simplest thing to venture into is just creating merch bundles, right? So broadening mm-hmm. your uh, your merch store with more offerings, and then bundling them together so that they can only be purchased at a higher price point, which would allow you to have more profit margin and also save on shipping costs and stuff like that, right? So creating fan bundles, you can, you know, name it whatever you want. It could be like the fan starter pack, or you can, you know, have like a hat, a shirt, a vinyl, a CD, whatever, posters, whatever you want, honestly, and pricing it at a higher margin for those fans that want to spend more and want to support you or just want more stuff, right? Those are all fair. And uh, and the same goes for your Patreon membership as well. You can create higher priced, what would be very similar to a bundle, except now it's an access bundle. It's a, a content or access package, right? As they move up in your Patreon, they're either getting more content from you or they're getting closer access to you. And that justifies the higher price point. Mm-hmm. And you can even create a tier that's 10x the price of the lowest tier for that access not everyone's going to sign up but you can create it for the people who do want that access and so that can include exclusive live streams maybe exclusive uh, live stream concerts ask me anything sessions you know 
whatever your comfort level is, all of these are open and, and, and an option for you. Um, and then obviously, I mean, I don't even want to go into the world of NFTs, but some people believe in that. <laughs>